Hi everyone, this is Shantra, and today we're going to talk about cutting boards. You can see here I have a variety of cutting boards. And there's two populations that I really end up considering the cutting board for, and that's somebody with a visual impairment or somebody with like a hand, fine motor skills, dexterity impairment. So let's look at some of the features and you can talk this through. There are a lot of choices when it comes to cutting boards, so please don't think that the three that I have are it. There's tons of ways that you can handle some of this. But first, let's talk about a visual impairment. Contrast and lighting is key for somebody with a visual impairment. So you can see here I have uh, I got a three pack of cutting boards that I got from Amazon. We've got this red one here. So if I'm doing red on red, it could be hard to see the apple. But if I put the apple on the white cutting board, we have a lot of contrast and it's easier to see. In the same sense, I've got a light colored uh, Uncrustable here, something light colored like cauliflower. Um, might be really hard to see on the white cutting board. But if you move that to the darker cutting board, you have a lot of contrast. So color is the first thing you might consider. And generally you can solve that by having, uh, there's a two pack of cutting boards where you can get a white and a black in one. If you don't want to spend all that money, I think your average like high contrast cutting board that I've seen online is 10 to $15. You can get thin cut, cutting mats. That way you can just lay them over your regular cutting board and have the contrast for your visual needs. Okay. Um, let's demonstrate this cutting board. So they call this a low vision cutting board with a shoot. And because it's bright white, you think, well, what makes it low vision? And it's really so that after you cut on this area, you can kind of scoop things uh, into a bowl or, you know, into your pot and you're not having stuff fall off the sides. You're not losing it. But again, you probably want to be cutting dark things like meat. Uh, obviously, my apple shows up nice and bright on this white cutting board. And these are also available in black for some of your lighter items. Uh, and that's really all this too is to this is the shoe is to help guide you to be getting your things you know that you've chopped up into the next container without having them falling off. All right, now this cutting board is a little bit special. This one costs about sixty dollars, and I really like that it's got uh, suction cups on the back. That way, you heard it when I pulled it up that it. It's sound, it's suctioned to the table. This has got is some spikes on it, and that's to aid in cutting. So this is where if you have um, hand dexterity issues, you can't grip and hold or do things at the same time, maybe you're one-handed. This could be very helpful. And so basically what you'll do is you'll take the item that you want to cut and put it on the spikes. I'm just going to put this apple on one for now. And then you can cut it with your other hand without having to hold and cut near your fingers. And I can turn this because it's on a spike. So you can see how easy that was. But if you're trying to chop things one-handed, spikes on there can help hold the item. Okay, now we've got some guards over on this end. And again, that's so you have something to push against, which can help hold things stable and and if you are visually impaired knowing that you can feel these edges push up against it and have your hands uh, protected somewhat that you've got a hard edge to work against now they make lightweight mesh gloves so that you can't cut yourself so obviously if you have a visual impairment you might want that added safety of putting on those mesh gloves but for somebody who's got bad arthritis um, maybe a uh, contractors and they can't extend their fingers this is a great cutting board but that $60 price point that's at one supplier you might get it a little cheaper somewhere else can be a little daunting but if it suctions to your counter nice and you know tight it's not really suction to my table type if it's suction to your counter that'll stop it from moving around as you're trying to hold it and chop like and subscribe 
I hope that helps.